Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net. In this module, I'm going to pick back up with the scenario that we started a long time ago. If you recall, I said that the sales department inside of Atris wanted to not only pay for their services separately, to be billed separately from all the other groups inside of Atris, but they also wanted to manage their own Active Directory and the services that point to that Active Directory separately as well. So in this module, what I'm going to do is start by associating, or rather building a trust relationship between that subscription that we uh, created for the sales group. I think it's called Pay As You Go. Uh, we're going to change that name, give it something a little more descriptive a little bit later. But what we want to do is build that trusting relationship between that subscription and the directory that we created called Atris Sales. Uh, and so in order to accomplish that, I'm going to need to add a Microsoft account to the directory and make that Microsoft account the service administrator for the sales subscription. And then I can associate the subscription with the new directory to create that trust relationship. So this seems a little bit like an edge case, admittedly. Uh, I mean, why would you ever need to do this? Well, uh, it's gonna do several things for us. Uh, I, and I think it's gonna help cement in our minds how this all works and how the pieces of the puzzle fit together. And furthermore, I think that it's gonna help us to see that there are certain things that you can only do with a Microsoft account. So let's move back over to the Account Center. I created a second subscription off camera several modules ago. It's a pretty straightforward process, so I really didn't wanna take the time to record it, just basically putting in a lot of your payment details. But what I want to do is change his name. So I'm going to go ahead and select it here in the list. And then I'm going to click on the right hand side, edit subscription details. And then I want to change the name from pay as you go to sales subscription. So you can see there's also, uh, we have the opportunity to change the service administrator. I don't want to do that just yet. We're just not ready to do that. We'll go ahead and click OK and finish this up. But I know where to go when I'm ready to change it. So uh, just to remind you, we don't want to use the organizational account that we created when we get back to this point. I tried this and I broke Azure. Uh, it's actually a security measure if you happen to delete an organizational user accidentally. So you can't use, say, Conrad at Atris.com as the service administrator. Okay, so at any rate, you can see that we changed the name of the subscription. Uh, that looks great, sales subscription. Let's move back over to the portal now. And the next thing that I'm gonna need to do is to create a relationship between an existing Microsoft account and the Atris sales directory. Now, I took, a little, I took some liberties and already did some of this off camera. You can see here that we have a user uh, that I've got a user named Conrad Tabor at Outlook.com. And so we have a Microsoft account at, in our directory and we're good to go there. It's a pretty simple creation process. I walked through it in one of the previous modules, so I didn't want to take the time to do that. But you can also see that Conrad Tabor at Outlook.com is a global administrator for the organizational role inside of the, uh, this Azure Active Directory directory. So that's important that he has rights in the directory. But in addition to that, what I need to do is make him a co-administrator on the subscription, on the sales subscription. So to do that, I'm gonna go way down to the settings here on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to uh, click the administrators tab at the top. And then I'm going to add Conrad Tabor at Outlook.com. Let's see if it finds it. Okay, it did. And notice what I said in the previous module, how you'll either see a little badge, which represents an organizational account, or you'll see that Microsoft logo, which represents a Microsoft account. That'll help you keep them clear in your own mind. So now what I want to do is make him a co-administrator of the sales subscription. There we go. And click OK. It'll take a second or two to set him up. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna to need to do is go back to the Account Center 
as the account administrator, so uh, I, to make the change, I'm going to appoint the service administrator for the sales subscription to Conrad Tabor at Outlook.com. All right, so I'll go ahead and select the subscription. And now let's go ahead and edit the subscription details again. We're going to type in Conrad Tabor at Outlook.com. Looks good. Yep, yeah, looks good. Okay. All right, so let's make sure this all works. Let's sign out as Bob at Atris on Microsoft.com. And let's go over to the portal and let's try to log in again. And oops, it looks like I'm going to need to log out of that as well. Uh, so let me sign out there. All right, I'm completely signed out. Great. I want to sign in as ConradOutlook.com. You can see I've already tried this once. He's listed in that group. Let me go ahead and make sure I got the right password for him. And it looks like we're in. Cool. Here's the tour. Thank you very much. So the first thing that I want to do is actually take a look at, uh, at the Active Directory. All right, so as you can see, we can see Atrus Sales and that I'm logged in as Conor at Outlook.com. I'm the global administrator, so all is good there. The next thing that I want to do is go and change the directory that this subscription is pointed to. Uh, and now, since I'm the service administrator on this account as Conrad Tabor at Outlook.com, the edit directory link will show up for me. I click it and I can now, I can click this and now I can change the cell subscription and point it to the only other option which I have available to me. It's atrissales.onmicrosoft.com. No administrators will be affected. That's good. Say complete. All right, and it says now the portal is going to need to reload because uh, to use the updated directory. So we'll do that. All right, and it took a little bit, but it all seems to work. So what do we really accomplish here? Well, remember what we set out to do. We set out to not only use a different subscription for all the services related to the sales department, but then we also wanted to point the subscription to trust a different Active Directory. It was trusting the original default directory that was created whenever we created the account, but we wanted to point it to a different Active Directory. In the subscription column, the Atrus sales directory is shared by all Atrus sales subscriptions, and that's what we're looking for. Great. Okay, so let's recap. In this module, we focused on subscriptions and directories, and we added a Microsoft account to a directory so that we could set the Microsoft account as the subscriptions service administrator. Once we set Conrad at Outlook, Conrad Tabor at Outlook.com as the service administrator, then uh, we went back to the subscription and set its new trust to a different directory, the Atris sales directory. All right, so these are the types of tasks that you're going to need to understand proper, to properly administer an account and a subscription in Azure. Now, again, if you're just one person, you're looking at all this and saying, I, I'm never going to need this. And you're absolutely right. You never will need this uh, if you're just working on your own account. Uh, for yourself, but if you ever think that you might need multiple subscriptions, then you probably will run into these types of administrative tasks. Okay, so that wraps it up. We'll see you in the next module. Thanks.